Noise is one of the big problems we have to contend with on the HF and radio bands. And there's no simple answer, but there are some things that we could do. And I was uh, watching a video from Brian, ZL3XDJ. Now, I contact Brian regularly on 20 metres and on 40 metres when the conditions are right. And he's got a very good signal. He used vertical antennas and he had a bit of a problem with noise on 40 metres. I think on 20 metres is okay. He's vertically polarised. In actual fact, on 20 metres, he's got a two element vertical antenna, which in itself is interesting. But he recently published a video on noise, and below this video, I'll put a link to it so you can uh, listen for yourself and see how he combats noise um, at his end. What we're looking at uh, today is just a wee project I've been working on lately, which is um, noise. On verticals. But I also stumbled across some details of a loop antenna. Now, one of the uh, regular supporters of this channel um, provided me with details of a loop antenna that he was using. It's a diamond antenna, it's sort of like a stretched diamond antenna. By the way, I should um, tell you that this uh, well, this information about this loop antenna came to me from Ken, uh, KF0NRM, um, November Wright Romeo Mike. If you go onto his uh, QRZ page, you'll get some details and pictures of it. So thanks, Ken, for that. Much appreciated. It's fed at the base, it's vertically polarised, and he uses it on 10 metres. And he gave me some information about this antenna and some links, but... I looked at these links and there was something that actually jumped out at me and I thought this could be an antenna that would provide low angle radiation would be fairly easy to erect in the average garden and probably would also have low noise. So I'm going to show you brief details of this then again I'm going to put a link below this video so you can see for yourself the um, antenna and uh, you can study the, all the details of it and see whether it might solve your problem or provide you with some good uh, low angle DX with possibly low noise. Now I've covered noise before from vertical antennas. Uh, they're renowned for picking up noise. And basically the reason is quite simple that um, noise, vertically polarised noise, travels much further than horizontally polarised noise. So if you've got noise in your QDH, whether it be from your house or next door's house, the chances are that the horizontal element will die away much quicker than the vertical element. So it means to say that a vertical antenna is going to pick up more noise than a horizontal antenna simply because the vertical element of the noise travels further and more effectively than the horizontal element. By the way, I think this antenna would be very suitable for a single mast support, and in particular fiberglass mast support. Now we sell a range of fiberglass masts from Spider Pole, and they are made in Germany and they are extremely rugged. So if you're thinking of constructing this antenna, then check out our fiberglass masts, particularly the 12 HD from Spider Pole. Now I'm gonna put up on the screen um, the drawing of this antenna and you see it's like a diamond antenna interesting enough it's fed on one side fairly low to the bottom of the antenna and that means to say that it's going to be vertically polarized and the dimensions and details are based on the fact that this antenna or the base of the antenna will be 10 feet above the ground uh, that's not terribly high it means to say it's clear of anybody that's walking around and it also means that it's not terribly difficult to support on a vertical mast. And if you look at the dimensions, you'll see that it's quite possible to erect this antenna easily. I've given you the dimensions for the 14 megahertz, the 20 meter band, but there are dimensions for other frequencies as well. If you go to the link below this video and have a look. By the way, this antenna is bi-directional, which means to say that it radiates at 90 degrees to the run of the wire. And that means to say that it has a bit of gain over a vertical, which of course is omnidirectional. 
Now, the reason that I say this is going to be good for low noise is that loop antennas are inherently good at rejecting noise. Although this is vertically polarised, um, I suspect that it will be quite a low noise antenna. Now, I have the disadvantage of not having tried it at the moment, but I think it's something that's worth trying because it's not too difficult to erect. As I say, you just need a single, single pole and then you take the uh, two basic uh, side elements down at an angle um, with some, some support cord and then join them across. And because the antenna is fed fairly low on that um, vertical section, it's not too difficult to provide feed. You just take that feeder away um, at right angles for a little way. I don't think that uh, you have to worry too much about taking the feeder um, a long way away from the antenna, but just take it away at right angles for the first five or 10 feet. Now, although it's not shown, I would strongly suggest you use um, some form of matching unit. And my favorite matching unit is basically a ferrite uh, choke ballon. It's a one-to-one -one match, and it means to so say you get balanced currents in the antenna, and it also isolates um, any um, common mode currents coming down the coax. So that's the way I would feed this antenna. By the way, I'm assuming you're going to feed it with 50 ohm coax cable. Now, unfortunately, I can't try this antenna myself at the moment for two reasons. We have got some winter weather at the moment, and also I'm recovering from a back operation, which means to say I can't do anything that is, uh, um, involves uh, lifting, etc. So uh, it's something for the spring, perhaps. It's only a one-band antenna, basically, um, but it's certainly worth a try. And um, if you're into uh, working DX, into trying some low angle radiation, and have a little bit of a problem with noise, would be a simple antenna to try. And all you need is a length of wire, basically. It's very simple, it doesn't cost much to try it. So there we are. A little idea you might want to try. If you do try it, let me know how you get on. Be interested to find out. And don't forget that video from Brian ZL3XDJ and uh, he, he covers how he tackles noise um, from his vertical on 40 meters. And as usual, thank you for your support on this channel. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to press the subscribe button. It just means to say that you'll be alerted when another video comes along. Thank you also for your support at uh, the shop and so forth. Don't forget, if you want a fiberglass mask that's going to last more than a couple of years, then look at our spider beam vertical mask or spider beam um, fiberglass masks. They're a great deal. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. You take care and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.